This tutorial explains how to import data to the database. We will look at importing time series and current value data and how to plot each type. To demonstrate this, we'll look at this wastewater treatment plant modeled in BioWin. This plant was simulated using a year's worth of measured data, including influent flow and loading, chemical dosing in the plant, and flow split and recycle schedules. The model was calibrated by comparing predicted and measured data in the various reactors and effluents. We'll first learn how to import time series data. This may be done by copying the data from a spreadsheet to the clipboard and then pasting the clipboard to the BioIn database. We want to compare the measured and simulated MLSS and MLVSS concentrations in the first aerated zone of Bioreactor 2. In the album, the predicted MLSS and MLVSS concentrations have been plotted over the year. We have an Excel spreadsheet with the measured MLSS and MLVSS concentrations in aeration tank number 2 over the year. BioWin does not recognize Excel's predefined date slash time formats, so we'll need to reformat the data as either a numerical date or a relative date. To format as numerical date, Copy the date slash time data into a new column and reformat the data as general. To format as relative date, we use another column that calculates the first date slash time as time zero and subsequent data in days from time zero. Both methods are shown here, however it's only necessary to do one. Let's use the relative date. We highlight the data in the relative date MLSS and MLVSS columns. Note that we're including the column headings. It's easiest if the headings are on a single row. We copy this data to the clipboard. In BioIn, we paste the clipboard to the database via the project database paste clipboard to database command. We'll name this data set BR, short for bioreactor, to observed. Here we specify the type of delimiters that separate individual data values in the group. When importing from a spreadsheet, we typically select the tab option. We're shown a preview of what the data look like. Click Next. Here we're shown a preview of what the data will look like once it's pasted into the BioIn database. We specify that the data starts in row 1 and the titles are in row 0. Once we click OK, the data is imported into the internal database. This pop-up window appears because there's data missing from some cells in the spreadsheet. It's very common to have some missing measured data. For example, this plant did not usually measure the bioreactor solids on the weekend. This pop-up window would also appear if a cell contained a non-numeric entry, for example, if a lab test contained a non-detect result. We can usually click Ignore All here. Now that the data have been imported, they are ready to plot in the time series chart. We right-click on the chart and select Add Series and the Imported tab. In the drop list of imported names, we select the name of the dataset that we just imported to the database. As you can see, several other datasets have already been imported to the database. The plot type is time series. In the X value column, we select relative date. We will keep this box checked because we imported the relative date data where the first entry is time zero. This box should only be checked if the first time of the data column is zero. Had we rather imported the numerical date data, we would leave this box unchecked. 
In the Y value column, we select Observed MLSS and MLVSS. Click Plot Selected. It's often best to plot the imported measure data as a point series, because the BioIn simulated results are usually best plotted as a line or fast line. Click OK and Close. To help compare the measured and simulated data, we'll make the color of each measured series the same color as the corresponding simulated series. Each of the data points is plotted with a label which is cluttering the series, so we'll make some additional edits to the series to make these data marks invisible. Although there are some extreme values in the measured data, we see from the plot that the trend in the predicted solids concentration matches the measured data. This can be better illustrated by hiding some of the series and looking at one data set at a time. Now we'll explain how to import current value data. The wastewater treatment plant has been simulated at steady state to generate average annual data. We want to compare the measured and simulated MLSS and MLVSS concentrations in the aerated bioreactors, AE2. In the album, the predicted MLSS and MLVSS concentrations in each of the four bioreactors have been plotted. In our spreadsheet, we have two datasets, the average annual measured MLSS and MLVSS concentrations in the four aerated bioreactors. We highlight the first dataset, including the column titles, and copy this to the clipboard. Now in BioIn, we paste the clipboard to the database. This can also be done within the album by going to Database and Paste Clipboard to Database. We'll name this dataset MLSS Observed. Again, we'll select Tab Delimiters and Next. The preview of the data appears correctly with the titles in row 0 and data starting in row 1. We click OK and the data is now imported into the internal database. We'll repeat this procedure to import the measured MLVSS data into the database. Now that the two datasets have been imported, they are ready to plot in current value charts. We'll plot the observed data for bioreactor number 2. We right-click on the chart and select Add Series and the Imported tab. From the drop list of imported names, we select the MLSS observed dataset. The plot type is Final Value. From the Y value columns list, we select AE2 MLSS Observed, since we only want to show the solids in Bioreactor 2 on this chart. From the General Series Gallery, we choose Bar to match the simulated series that's already plotted on the chart. As you can see, the Observed MLSS bars will need to be repositioned on the chart, but before we do that, we'll plot the Observed MLVSS. Now we will edit the series by right-clicking and selecting Edit Series. The first thing we'll do is rearrange the order of the series by highlighting the series we wish to move and using the arrow buttons. We'll also change the color of MLSS Observed to orange and the color of MLVSS Observed to light blue.
Now we'll reposition and format the series as shown. This current value chart now clearly shows the differences between the measured and simulated MLSS and MLVSS average annual concentrations in bioreactor number 2. This concludes the database tutorial. Please see EnviroSim's video library for more information on BioWinds database, as well as other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWinds.